First, please let me introduce myself. My name is Nash, and I'm the physics teacher of this class. Oh, it's a now I know uh, you must enjoy the hospitality of the class. Oh, it's a I've been thinking a lot for a long time whether I should speak in English or Chinese. But uh, after my consideration, I think since I cannot speak in Japanese, and if I speak in Chinese, you won't understand my teaching. So I choose to use English as the common language. You know, it's not already become a, a global world language. Um, you know, when I was a kid. About your age, around sixteen to seventeen, <laughs> and uh, I love a comic book called uh, Dragon Ball. Do you guys know Dragon Ball? Or I should say, more a Japanese style, Dragon Ball. Did you watch it? Did you watch it? Dragon Ball Super Saiyan. Yeah, when someone's angry, his hair is going to stand up, and they're being very sharp. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they understand. They understand. <clears throat> okay, so. You know, in one of the episodes, it once taught me that you know the gravity field in Super Saiyan's planet is ten times larger than that of the Earth. So, if the gravity field for Earth is g, you know, for the Super Saiyan Saiyan's planet, the gravity field is around ten g. The ten g. You know, when I was seventeen, I'm very curious about the key factors. Who? What is the key factors to influence the gravity field? Why is Saiyan's planet Saiyan's planet is ten times larger than ours? So then I keep studying physics. You know, from my last class,、uh, I taught my students about the gravity. That means、uh, the gravity exists between any two objects with mass. You know, if you have mass, if you're a thin stuff, you're going to attract each other. So we can write the gravity、uh, in this form. So now I can go deeper. I can go deeper about the gravity field. What is the gravity field? I don't think it's too hard. You have all already heard it before, and the value is about nine point eight. You know, okay? So, what is the key factors to generate the gravity field? When we were young, about junior high school, you know, you are standing on the ground, and your mass is m. So, you are going to feel a kind of weight provided by the ground. And we can write it in the form as mg. Everybody knows it, right? Okay, the mass times the gravity field. So now I want to know who is the guy generate the weight on me. So if you take a look,、uh, maybe on far away from the moon to observe the Earth, you will be very tiny, standing on the ground. Then the ground is no longer flat; it's just like a spherical. Spherical,、uh, spherical sphere, you know. So, if we mark the mass for the Earth is big M, please, and your mass is M, we know that the Earth is going to attract you. It's going to attract you, and the gravity can be written as. Okay, so now you know who is the guy who provides you the weight. Actually, your weight is equal to the gravity. So now you know that gravity is equal to your weight. So we can write it and put a equal mark between them. You know, I'm not pretty good at、uh, math, but I don't know if you can see two items. And the two and the, and、uh, they have the same items existing on both right hand side and, and left hand side. Then you can barely delete them. So that means I can delete them and delete them. And what is the rest? Now you take a look at this. So we can finally derive the gravity value can actually be written as g g times mass over r squared. And、uh, please take a look at this. It is totally independent. Of your mass, you know. Sometimes people might have a myth. You know, myth, myth, myth. That you look me, I'm heavier. So you might think my gravity field is sometimes somehow larger than yours. And this is unfair because the gravity value, the gravity field, does not depend on your mass because you have already deleted the mass in the previous step. So it is totally independent. Of your mass, so the gravity field has already become a kind of 
characteristics of the space itself. Once we travel to other planet, when you stand on the planet, you will feel the gravity field. And for everybody that suffer, they are experiencing the same value. Okay, so let me just end my class since it's hard for you, no, no, okay? So, the final part is I want to say, you know, Earth is not a precise sphere. It's not a precise sphere. What, what, I, what do I mean? This is Earth. However, the Earth does not just stand right there and do nothing. However, it rotates. So it shows a spin, you know. So, once when the Earth is now rotating, the Earth is more like a elliptical form. So let me just mark point A and point B and point O. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to ask a question. Please pay attention. Pay attention. Okay, number number ten. Please raise your hand. Number ten. Number ten. Who's number ten? Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. I've got to ask you one question. Okay. Yes. The Earth is now rotating. You know, so for the mass around this middle body, they are going to feel like being thrown away. Thrown away. So, according to this shape, this is ready as A, this is ready as B. A or B. Who? Is bigger, A or B? B. Agree with that? Yeah. Sam, no. Please take a look at it. I say they are going to rotate. If they are rotate, I give you one more chance. Who is bigger, A or B? Yes, exactly. B. B is going to be bigger because it's now. No, 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 no. Okay. So I want to remind you that according to the gravity to formula, you can write g times mass over r squared. This is your g. Okay. The Earth is Earth. It doesn't matter where you stand. So they are going to have the same constant g and the same mass. However. If your radius is now smaller, for example, you are standing on the top of Earth. If the radius is smaller, the bottom value is smaller, so the whole band is going to increase. So when you are standing on A and you're standing on B, you are going to experience.、It. So one day when you have the chance to travel to the top of Earth, you are going to travel to the top of Earth, and you find your weight is around a hundred kilograms. Now you are going to travel back to Taiwan, travel back to Japan, and your weight might be down to 99.9, 99.8 kilograms. You are going to be thinner. Okay, I think this is my class. I hope you enjoy it. Okay.